Hello, are you kidding me? Hi everyone. So today we are doing something really exciting. We're both so tired. We woke up really early today to come to a city yes. called Yongyang. Yongyang, famous nutrition. Oh yeah, oh, that's why I know this name. Yeah. Actually, we're so lucky. So we filmed our Andong video and our Namhae video and as a result, we got sponsored by Gyeongbuk wow. Tourism Organization. Yeah, it's a big deal and we are so lucky because we get to now make three videos in this region of Korea. And this is our first video. So we decided that we wanted to show you a little bit of culture today. So this city has some huge cultural significance. This place is famous because there's a noticeable woman mm. who lived here. Her name is Chang Ge Hyang. She she wrote the first cookbook in Hangul. Mm. So what we decided to do today is go to like the most famous like cultural area of this city and we are going to actually try making some of this mm -hmm. famous traditional food and we are going to eat some of this traditional food as well and we will show you how beautiful it is here. So. Um, the first place that we came where we're filming right now is actually like a famous Yongyang landmark which is this huge cliff, mount, rock thing. Yes. I don't know what it is. It's beautiful? Ish. Ish. What's really beautiful are the fall colors though and it's so peaceful here. So, so it's a good first start to our journey today. Anyway, that's the point of today's video and yeah, hope you enjoy. What is that? I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the propeller. Why are you so lame? Yeah. Wow, it's so pretty. It's just a rock. It looks like a big slice of cake. There's high school girls, and they're all gonna be way better than me, and it's gonna be really embarrassing. So, don't judge me. The instructor of our class is a descendant of Zhang Ye Hyang, the author of the first cookbook. The food we're making today is a traditional Korean side dish. The only ingredients were dorok and rice flour. The end result should be a crispy chip that is served with honey for dipping. First, we have to peel the dorok root. Next, we have to cut the root into really thin strips. Then, you need to heat your pot of oil. She yelled at us because our pieces were too thick. After you've smashed your pieces, you should coat them in rice flour. Then fry the pieces one or two times until they're crispy. They told us to fry it about two times, but we fried it three or four to make it extra crispy. And she noticed. Our dodok fries turned out really good. They're a little bit sweet, 
and crispy on the outside and a little bit chewy in the center. And they're even better with honey, trust me. At the end, we had to clean up all of our mess. 저희는 지금 장계향 문화 체험 교육원 앞이에요. 방금 레이랑 같이 쿠킹 클래스 끝냈고요. 쌀가루로 무친 더덕 튀김을 만들어 봤어요. Got some extras here. Take one. Oh, you took the tiniest piece. 너무 튀겼다고 혼났는데 저희는 이렇게 바삭하게 튀겨 먹는 걸 좋아해서. I heard that word. 바삭. 바삭. Like the name of the chicken we ate last night. Go to 바삭. 바삭. So the cooking class was very easy. Stressful. <laughs> the recipe was easy, but it was difficult because they gave us a recipe to follow, but it's in Korean and I only know like the ingredient words, but I don't know the verbs really, so I don't know what's happening. And the lady would just come over and like tell me what to do in Korean. In Korean and I'm like, I don't know what that means. But we are just having a quick break and we're gonna go eat some like traditional food here. 이제 저희는 장기양 레시피로 만든 음식을 제공하는 코스 식당이 있어요. 그래서 거기로 가서 식사를 하려고 합니다. The restaurant is located inside of a traditional Hanok style building. So we get totori soup. I don't know what that is. Japche, yongil. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Exciting. This is the soup. You can put it in the pan. This is what I like. Japche, but it's not the soup. Ray is eating the soup. Japche is eating the soup. This is a soup tang. It's in the pan. It's in the pan. 석류 모양이라서 석류탕이래요. 이 is the food of my ancestors ate. It just tastes like a soggy milk. It tastes like ravioli, right? And so it's unlike any japchae I've ever had before. So let's try. It's the place you're looking for, Dangmyeon. The sauce is very strange. It's like American Thanksgiving gravy on top of japchae ingredients. So it's just a very strange flavor. I'm gonna serve you so you can try. Mm. It's so healthy. Mm. What is it? It looks like tang to you. Everything's so slippery. Mm. This is like I've used so much strength in my fingers to hold this right now. It's like mackerel. Yeah. Can I eat it? Yes. My favorite thing ever. Mm. So salty. And fishy. But healthy. It's like jelly. Healthy. So I think they recreated the Asian recipe. Like there was no sugar, there was no MSG. I kind of want to try this thing. 
He said it's like mung bean. It just has like a very strange shape. Okay. It's like dessert. This is the best thing so far. Yeah. There are one more. The lotus. I really like eggplant, so... I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches our videos. Because of you, we were able to make videos like this. We hope you enjoyed watching, and please look forward to our next video. Bye! Oh, say can you see?